Here I'm demonstrating uh, the normal power up. I'm holding the red button down as I turn the power on because that always works. So the power's on. Release it. Plug the battery in. And very quickly the lights go solid. Uh, much sooner than 33 seconds when there's no transmitter at there. Then down, both down to the right and you can see the flash that calibrates. The red button to start the motors with the throttle down and again to stop the motors. So that's the normal process. We turn off the transmitter, get a blink. Okay, and now to try the um, the jump of the latest build. So I've got it set to the B3 setting already, so it comes up like that. Um, I'm not sure if it means it's waiting to bind or not, but anyway, I'll plug, plug the battery in. And it becomes clear it's, it's in no hurry to bind. program the third switch, that's D. Um, D0 is to arm and D, D1, D2 is, is low values, off zero. So what I'm doing this time is to um, make my way down to the, um, the bind option and then before I do I'll, turn, I'll pull out the battery from the bugs. So there's the Bugs 3 protocol, ready to bind, pull the battery, and now hit the button for, hit enter, for bind, so it says it's binding, and press e ENT to stop again. So I plug in the battery, goes through the usual light flashing from manic to karma and we're still waiting for something to happen here. So I'm waiting patiently. Not binding. Nothing so far. I wish I'd moved the bloody transmitter out of the way. I think it's got to the point where you've got solid little lights. Yep, it's got the solid lights. So, not looking good. No sign of life. And lastly, this is just, just for the hell of it, I'm showing the binding process for the Esheen E11. Um, I'm just loading another model. And I'll call it 11A because I messed around with a few different configurations. So it's now saying binding. So I'll turn it off at this point. Because this one's a little bit different. Uh, the instruction here is you, you power on the model first, unlike the bug 3 and then you turn on the transmitter with that with the, uh, the appropriate model loaded and then it should bind straight away which it always does and then by coincidence as for the Bugs 3 you can calibrate by pulling both down to the right and you get rapidly blinking lights and from there you're in business there's no arming switch hit the throttle and you're away if you've got a fully charged battery which I haven't okay so that's about all Bye.